Hey guys, so I took the DJI Mavic out today and I was really keen on testing out the intelligent flight modes, especially the follow me and the active tracking flight mode. And I, I hadn't really looked closely for them before, but um, I had kind of looked around in the app but I couldn't find them before. I found today where where you go in the app to get to them and it's just in the left on the left side of the screen there's a little propeller icon and if you click on that you can get to the intelligent flight modes and there's a bunch of different ones there's like um, the follow me the active track there's a um, tap to fly and a few others there's several of them the two that I tested out were the follow me and the active track the difference between the two is the follow me uses your phone's GPS to um, uh, sort of tell where you are and it follows it as it moves. Um, the thing I didn't really like too much about that is that um, the altitude requirement for that, the minimum altitude requirement is pretty high. I think it's like 32 feet or something like that. And for me, that was just a little bit too distant to really um, make it a good shot and I found that the behavior was a little bit erratic. Um, it didn't um, lock on to uh, me as I was walking uh, that well. It just sort of followed the course of the phone. So I didn't find it that useful, although it's sort of interesting. Um, what I did find really cool was the active track. The active track um, locks on to a um, in this case a person or a moving object or something like that and it follows it and not only does it follow it um, really well like it it's it uh, keeps a very even pace um, following but it also allows you to do a few different um, modes so you can do a profile which flies along the side and gets a profile of the individual that doesn't have object avoiding avoidance uh, flying sideways so you have to be a little bit careful about that. It also allows you to have it follow, but then do a um, circle uh, around you as you're moving. And that mode is that's pretty cool. If you get if you're walking along, even if you're going through a narrow space, and um, you know you can have it just follow you. But once you get to an opening, you can have it do a, a nice pan uh, panoramic shot, and it stays locked on the uh, target. The whole time. Um, the other cool thing about um, Active Track is that um, it it um, has intelligent um, altitude, so to speak. So if you're walking up a hill, and I did test this out, um, it will increase the height of the drone as it's as you go up the hill, so it doesn't hit the hit the uh, hit the ground. The other um, thing that I was blown away by is that it is very precise in, in following. I took it through a few very tricky situations. One was a walking path uh, or walking tunnel that goes underneath the road. So it's fairly narrow um, and I would not have felt comfortable flying it uh, freehand because I would have been afraid of um, hitting the, the top of the tunnel um, or the sides as I was going through. But I had it follow me with Active Track, and it did a wonderful job. It followed me straight through the tunnel uh, really well. Didn't have any issues. The other area that I tested was uh, walking between two really close trees. In fact, the branches were sort of almost overlapping. And it did really well in that scenario, too. The object avoidance didn't keep it from um, hitting one branch, which was a really small branch. And it didn't impact the flight path at all. I just heard... The propeller hit the branch a little bit and it kept flying um, but I did test out the object avoidance with larger objects and it, uh, it actually stopped so uh, anyway it, it really uh, is incredible what it does and I can't wait to use it more in the future um, with hiking and things like that in the mountains